The Universal Declaration of Human Rights was written in 1948. Millions of people have perished in the Second World War. Many countries are still deeply divided by racism and military oppression. So, the 48 countries of the United Nations got together and decided that enough was enough. So they all sat down and wrote 30 articles. That's, that's 30 rights and freedoms which belong to all of us. Article 1, we're all born free! We have our own thoughts and ideas and we should all be treated the same way. <laughs> Article 9 says nobody has the right to put us in prison without good reason. To keep us there or to send us away from our country. Article 18 says we all have the right to believe in whatever we like, to have a religion, and to change it if we wish. Article 19. We all have the right to make up our own minds, to think what we like, to say what we like, and to share our ideas with other people. The government is standing by the legality of its people swap deal with Malaysia after coming under attack from the UN. The UN official who made the comments was in Canberra today for a series of closed door meetings with senior cabinet ministers. Correspondent Tom Eagleton reports on a day of political manoeuvring over asylum seekers, cigarette packaging and climate change. The comments from the UN's refugee commissioner were unequivocal. Australian law applies to processing even if it's done out, uh, outside the Australian waters. 
At a public forum in Sydney, she didn't hold back from fierce criticism of the scheme, which would see 800 asylum seekers detained in Australia sent to Malaysia. I think it uh, violates the refugee law. They cannot send um, individuals to a country that has not ratified the torture convention, the convention on refugee, refugees. So there are no protections for uh, individuals in Malaysia and of Australia, of all people that uphold the standards internationally, should not be, collaborate with these kinds of schemes. But it was a more contrite commissioner in Canberra today, following closed-door meetings with three cabinet ministers. She'll meet the Prime Minister tomorrow. I've been given a lot of information. That's useful for me. Are you still concerned Australia is in breach of humanitarian law? I'm, I'm looking into that. Uh, after I receive assurances and so on. In Senate estimates hearing, the Immigration Department chief was already hosing down the criticism of the plan. Uh, I'm not aware of the basis for the High Commissioner's um, comments. Uh, I understand that she had not been well briefed in relation to Australia's plans. The Commissioner's due to meet and give a press conference tomorrow with the Prime Minister, but the opposition's already seized on her statements and is telling the government it has a duty to protect asylum seekers. At the moment there seems to be no formal uh, guarantees or no formal arrangements uh, that would um, you know, give a guarantee of that protection. Uh, so I think these are legitimate questions to be raised about this, this fight for one people swap deal. But as the opposition was trying to wedge Labor on the humane treatment of asylum seekers, there was some payback from the government. Tony Abbott's yet to decide whether he'll support the health minister's plans to put plain packaging on cigarette packs. And she's making the most of it. Unfortunately, when Big Tobacco have donated $3 million to the Liberal Party over the last 12 years, there is a question mark on why Mr Abbott is dragging his feet in supporting this measure. Those criticisms seem to be finding the mark among coalition ranks. Former doctor, now Liberal MP, Mal Washer has already made up his mind, telling a weekend newspaper, I support these reforms unequivocally and whatever my party decides to do, I don't give a shit. He's now reportedly been joined by two other Liberal MPs. Alex Somalay is a cancer survivor and Ken Wyatt's the first Indigenous member of the lower house and a long-time advocate of Aboriginal health. And today they were joined by a fourth Conservative member. I'm a little bit different from the, from the rest of the Nationals. Western Australia Nationals member Tony Crook sits as an independent and he says he supports the government's plans. You know, clearly the, the measures to stop smoking are vitally important. The health and financial impost that it causes the nation is significant. I think we've all been touched by, uh, by cigarette smokers. And he touched on another sensitive subject among the coalition, Tony Abbott's direct action plan for climate change. Well, you know, the, and I, in saying that, I don't know that uh, direct action is the answer either. That echoes Malcolm Turnbull's criticism last week. Today, though, he was showing a united front with the man whose job it is to sell the direct action plan at a forum held by the government's climate change commissioners. Yeah, sure, like, like Greg Hunt, Greg and I are shoulder to shoulder on accepting the science. We absolutely agree with that. He is the coalition's climate policy spokesman. So we're absolutely 